Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is April 20th, 2016, and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the economic calendar today, we're starting out this morning, 10.30 a.m., we have a GBP claimant count number coming out, and then at 12 p.m., we have uh, ECB President Draghi will be speaking uh, so that should affect the euro. We'll look at that later. Um, and then at 4.30 p.m. South African time, we have weekly crude oil inventories coming out. And then at 10.15 p.m., uh, Governor uh, Polos will be speaking, which affects the Canadian dollar. So uh, a few numbers today, not major numbers, but some numbers. Uh, let's see what's going on in the markets. Looking at the euro USD. We retraced a little bit and we're back into the top. So, you know, we're very we're closing in on this gap between 1400, 114, and 113. Uh, we're trading here at 130, 113.62. Um, so we're about only 40 pips off of our um, resistance here. But as I said yesterday, things look like they wanna. The euro doesn't look like it wants to sell off. It looks like it wants to break it. Uh, just a matter of time. So. Keep an eye on this. Maybe we'll have some follow-through today into the session. Looking at the USD CAD with this number coming out later today, we're trading at 127. 127 is, you know, we broke this 132 support level, and then we broke 128-ish, and now we're trading at 127. So, I mean, this thing is really getting stronger against the dollar uh, as things subside as the fear subside with the devaluation of oil. So altogether, uh, markets are still trading quite nicely in terms of its ability to show some resistance uh, against the strengthening dollar. Looking at the Aussie USD, we had a little bit of a retracement here, but as you can see, all in all, uh, it's still uh, trading in an uptrend. Just a matter of when to catch it and, uh, you know, and just to hold on. Uh, on the upside. So, you know, looking at some resistance levels, it's hard to say. I would say 178-ish, right about right here is a resistance level. Let's let's mark it on the graph. Um, and so as long as we don't, uh, you know, break it higher, we may see ourselves trading in a range 178 on the high side, uh, 168 on the, excuse me, 170 two-ish on the low side. So let's see how this actually creates and actually how it develops. Looking at gold here, gold resistant, re resilient, resilient, resilient. I mean, every time it goes down, it doesn't want to go back down below 1215-ish level. So it's at 1252 again. Looks like it wants to take off again on the higher side. So it, it's really, it's teasing us on the high side, um, but it looks like it's still pretty strong. Looking at the Dow Jones, Dow Jones Breaking a little bit higher yesterday, but maybe a sell-off, um, you know, is in the plans as we're trading at 17,910. We hit 18,000 yesterday, so we're only about, you know, 400 points from our all-time highs, which is a major, major move for the Dow Jones over the last couple of months. Looking at oil, oil is staying steady at $40 a barrel. Uh, nothing to really write home about, uh, but again, it's trading to its... Uh, resistance levels and support levels. You could make some quick moves uh, if you're acute to um, scalping it. But later today, there is news coming out of it, so expect some sort of momentum. Uh, the question is, is it, where is it going to go from here? It's at $41 a barrel. Um, we're looking at a closer chart. Uh, retracing a little bit here. Let's see if it holds this line. Maybe it'll bounce off. Uh, but keep an eye on oil. This is Fred Razak at CM Training. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.